All right, so we got the skin off and he's hanging up here. We're gonna, I didn't show you the skinning. I figured that's the easy part. Everybody knows how to do that. If not, you can go back to one of my other videos and figure it out pretty, pretty easily. Um, yeah, so we got the skin off, the head off, the guts out. We're hanging here. Next, I'm gonna grab the splitter and I'm gonna cut it in half, straight down the spine. That's great if you have the tools. If you don't have the tool, you can use a the handsaw or a sawzall. Or if you don't, if you got the room to do it, you don't even have to break it in half. It just makes life a lot easier on the tail end when you go to process. So yeah, I'll hand the hand the video off to Nathan here, and he can show you how we cut it in half. Both halves are hanging. We'll come back and uh, show you how to properly cut it into family sized portions so you can handle your own fair hog if you're keeping it, or you can do your wild animals or whatever the case may be. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. All right, guys. We're going to show you how to cut this pig up now. We, uh, you saw me put it in the cooler the other day. Now I'm going to cut it into family size portions. I'm going to do a very simple process job that you yourself can do at home with minimal experience and minimal tools. It's very easy. You just need a little bit of space and some patience and you'll be good to go. All right, I'm going to get my camera readjusted so you can see this pig a little bit better and I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. separate the shoulder off the animal. Normally I do this on a uh, bandsaw, but today I'm doing it so you can do it at home, so you can see how to do it easily at home. I'm going to use my sawzall. It's been cleaned, there's no nasty on it, so we're all good to go. You're going to want to go about the third rib or so. Between the third and fourth rib is where you're going to want to split it. So you count in one, two, three, and then split it right here. shoulder. Now we're going to cut the ham off, which is right here. I'm going to take, go back to my sawzall and split it about right here all the way down and then I'll take my ham off. Bag. 
chops on this guy. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the uh, tenderloin out. separate the spare ribs from the baby backs and I'll, that'll take the, uh, the bacon on the other side away from the pork chops. Pretty easy, you just go a couple inches from your spine wherever you really want to, it doesn't really matter too much, I mean, baby back's about that big, so yeah, three inches or whatever. Go back in and split that. back here towards the back under where the tenderloin was, or the little riblets I talked about before in my uh, deer processing video. So we'll just come back with the scimitar, follow that split line you just made. Go all the way to there. You take a little bit of pork chop sometimes. I should have turned you over, but that's all right. A little bit of extra sausage meat never hurt nobody. Move your bacon out of the way for the moment. Now you can go into your smaller knife. Follow right along the edge of the baby back. Peel it off. 